What is good? Fuck good, <laughs> everyone. Shoes here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> What is good everyone, Shubes here. Today we have a very special build and my thoughts on the oh, Frog TKL by Geonworks. Now this is a very popular board and with good reason. It is a very high end board coming in at a very reasonable price of 300 USD for the board itself. At the time of filming this you will need to get a PCB separately but it should work with a few such as the Pachi PCBs or the H87C or H88C if you're using F13 from Heine. So with the PCB this board should run you around $300 or not $300, $350 ish without shipping. Now, I get it. A lot of you will probably be like, $350, shoops, that is not budget at all, and I get you. Compared to things like KBD67 Lite, GMK Pro, and other beginner boards out there, this board might not directly fit into that same budget category. However, unlike the GMK Pro and KB67 Lite and boards like that, I really wouldn't put this into the same category. Honestly, there's nothing really budget or beginner about this board. It is an enthusiast grade board through and through from the machining, anodization, oh that side profile, and the materials as well. And it honestly stands side by side with any of the other high-end enthusiast TKLs out there. Uh, while a lot of these high-end TKLs usually go around costing $600 and up, this comes in at half the cost of that and is being released monthly in stock by Gion. And compared to that, that $600 price range, this is indeed budget. So now let's get on with the build and see how this board sounds and feels. This came in the mail today. It comes in a really nice case. What is this? This is the feet. Comes with some of the tadpoles. I think the standard tadpole is ADA, so we're gonna be just using the ADA tadpoles. Sheesh! This is a beautiful, beautiful board. For $300? This is basically on par in terms of machining quality with like any of the other high-end TKLs that like run like 600 plus. Like the side profile is just absolutely mmm. There's a little front lip too. And the back weight. This is quite hefty. I should, I should really get a scale. I don't know how much this weighs, but it, it is quite a hefty boy. I mean, with the amount of brass... The amount of brass you get for the price is actually sort of crazy. The plate and the PCBs come in this really nice branded sort of packaging. This is the plate. That is pretty sick. See all the cuts. With the Gion logo. Gion always makes some wild plates. The F1 plate was also pretty wild. And uh, here you can see the frog engraving in the middle a little closer. And we're dissecting it now. Oof. Look at that internals. Look at the internals. Alright, so let's take a look at the inner weight a bit. There's a few spots here and there, but like, it's very, very clean. Honestly, the QC on this looks very good. Especially for the price. The Anno is actually pretty nice on it too. <clears throat> it's way better than the F1. Anno, actually. 
So the TED poles we're going to be using are the ADA ones, the standard ones that come with the frog. And this is how the TED poles look like. It's like little rubbery things. <laughs> so basically how it works is that you put these in the little holes on the plate supposed to install them like like this and then you just plug it in there it's fairly simple and then it sits in between the cutouts on here and on the top case here's the plate with the tadpoles installed and then you just place them on the little dots and it just sits right there and then we put the top case actually I'll show you there's a there's a little holes for the tadpoles and then you just match it and you put it on there done very simple Screw it back in. So the board actually has these really cool rubber feet that cover the screw holes. It's really, it's a really sick design. The switches we went with were Gatoron Black Ink V2s with a black cherry pie on the spacebar, like always. And the set that we. A little bit, a little cutie over here, the frog bongo. Sheesh, that is clean. All right, let's get to the sound test. Let's get to it. So what are my thoughts on this board? Honestly, I am very, very impressed. The machining quality is great and the anodization is really good. And I wouldn't say it's the best anodization, but uh, it is a lot better than what I would expect from the price range. As for the typing feel of the board, I am speaking only for the 88 tadpoles. I do not have the 58 tadpoles and the experience might differ. But from what I can see from the ADA, it is definitely comfortable and quite unique. Compared to your regular top mount, there is a little bit more give and a little bit more flex, but not by a large amount. However, it is still a slightly softer typing experience in my, com uh, in my opinion compared to the standard top mount TKLs uh, such as the KFE or the Jaguar. Additionally, there are some nuances of bounce and some vibrations upon a harsher bottom out and for key smashers such as myself you will definitely feel a bit of that effect the vibration thing is hard to describe to people since you need to experience a board that has it but it can often be found on plateless and bouncier boards such as the Juby 7V and the new and is also found in Gian's previous uh, board the F18X if I had to sort of summarize and describe the typing feel of the frog i would say that it's like a top mount with slight f1 undertones <laughs> a little bit softer and a little bit bouncier overall than your standard top mount as for the sound profile of the board it is definitely on the higher pitched end even here built with inks which are more of a muted and deeper sounding switch it is still decently clacky there are no real issues with hollowness i know a few people have mentioned the board being hollow but in my personal opinion uh currently built with no foam at all the 
sound is quite tight and not pingy or hollow at all. Honestly, at this price point, there's not much to complain about the board. There are some flaws with some dark dots in the inner brass weight, but it's on the internals and I really couldn't give a crap. For the sound, I do think that the mods are a bit weak and the spacebar is also a little bit weak. Maybe toning down the amount of cuts in that area uh, would help and perhaps perhaps having a tadpole mounting point right underneath the spacebar could also be an issue, but I'm being a little bit uh, nitpicky here. In the current dystopian world that is the keyboard hobby where long group buys and lead times, <coughs> GMK fucking hell <laughs> dominate the market the fact that a board like this is being released monthly for this price is honestly a huge achievement and i give i gotta give Gian the biggest props i think the board overall is solid and is as good or even better than many of the more expensive tkls out there and if someone starting out in the hobby simply wanted to invest in a very nice keyboard and just be done with it i would recommend this board in a heartbeat and to those more seasoned veterans in this degenerate rabbit hole, I think the price, aesthetics, and differences, albeit slight from your standard top mount, uh, it, this board is still worthy to pick up and try. And I am honestly, wholeheartedly impressed with the frog. Anyways guys, thank you so much for checking out the video, and like always, thank you for all the support. We hit 45,000 subscribers, which is crazy, we're growing every day, and I'm very, uh, I appreciate it a lot for all the continued support, uh, and uh, all the support on Twitch as well. Uh, more content, more reviews, more Switch reviews, more comedy videos, and stuff like that on the way soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.